Hey guys, so today I have a new acrylic pour to share with you. I love adding mica to my acrylic paint colors. There are so many different mica and interference powders available for artists that your possibilities for color mixing are practically endless. For this acrylic paint swipe, I'm going full glitz. Each color has an added mica powder along with using a brilliant gold base. For this swipe, I'll be using a clear gel medium as my cell activator. Using the clear gel medium will give you cells with invisible lacing. I like to call them ghost cells. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult to choose what colors you would like to use in a pour. This is a perfect chance to start experimenting with different combinations and coming up with your own mixes. Most artist level paints will have what is called a pigment code on the bottle. This will be letters followed by numbers. For example, phthalo blue would be PB15. This is the base pigment. Say it's actually PB153. The second number is the shade of phthalo that pigment is. In this case, blue green. While you do not necessarily need to know every pigment code in existence, at least pay attention to the pigment type. By knowing the base pigment of an acrylic paint, you are less likely to get dull colors when randomly mixing. Let's take this brown color that I have mixed up. I'm using Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown as the main color of this mix. According to the bottle, this Van Dyke Brown is actually a combination of PBK11 and PR101. This means that it's a combination of Mars Black and Red Iron Oxide. So, since I wanted my colors to be a bit deeper, I added a few drops of Golden Fluids Violet Oxide and Liquitex Ink Carbon Black. The Violet Oxide is also PR101. Since I didn't have a fluid version of Mars Black, I did go with the Carbon Black, which would be a PBK6. Keeping the colors in the same group helps keep your results clean and less likely create a muddy mess on the canvas. Mixing mica into fluid paints can be a little tricky if you aren't careful. Most come in a powder form, so I really advise mixing the mica with a small amount of your pouring medium before adding to the rest of your paint. By combining the two beforehand, you're able to smooth the powder out to avoid having clumps in the mixed color. What mica you choose is completely up to you, but if you would like to learn more, you can check out the color mixing guide I have linked in the description. Mica powder doesn't quite follow the same rules as mixing paint colors. They follow light mixing rules instead of color mixing rules. Taking this into consideration when mixing will help you use them more effectively. The cell activator that I'm using today is just clear gel medium mixed with Floetrol and two drops of silicone added in. I'm using a mix of 500 CST silicone and mineral spirits. I will also leave a link to the silicone viscosity series in the description if you would like to dive in to learn more about them. Since the gel medium dries, well, clear, you do not get the typical lacing you would expect with a colored activator. The colors on the canvas combine to create the lacing, causing it to be different colors throughout. I really love this look and I feel it gives the cells more of a 3D appearance to them. They almost pop off the canvas. During your next painting session, sit down and really look at your paint colors. Pay attention to what pigments are actually in the bottles you're using. A lot of acrylic paints are actually mixtures of several pigments. You especially find this when you're working with color hues. Since some historical pigments can be quite toxic, Brands have come up with mixtures that closely resemble that color using other pigments as a substitute. While this is a great way to have certain colors on hand, it can throw you off when mixing if you aren't paying attention. Again, you don't have to be an expert on the names of the pigments, but being aware of the colors that are present will definitely help. I will also leave a link to the pigment database that I use the most down below in case you want to check it out. Okay guys, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoy the rest of this mica-filled acrylic swipe. 
If you have any questions, always feel free to ask away. You can also let me know your thoughts on this pour in the comments below. I'll leave you to the rest of the video. See you next time. Bye!